Algebra 2 lesson on absolute value, equations, and inequalities. Let's talk a little bit about the concept of absolute value. As we discussed in class, absolute value means the distance of a number to zero. Now let's think of this as if you and your crazy haired friend were walking on the number line. So if you are going to walk on the number line and you are at negative five, then you could walk one, two, three, four, five units. And now your friend wants to join you on zero, so your friend walks one, two, three, four, five units as well. So remember, your friend was at five and walked five units to get to zero. You were at negative five and you walked five units to get to zero. So that kind of demonstrates the idea of absolute value of negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5 because negative 5 is 5 units from 0. And the absolute value of 5 is 5 because 5 is 5 units from 0. Let's look, look at some examples as if we didn't know what number we were finding the absolute value of, but we knew the absolute value of that number. So, for number one, the absolute value of x equals 10. Using the definition, that means x, the number, is 10 units from 0. So really, you should ask yourself, what two numbers are 10 units from 0? Negative 10 and 10. And for number two, you should ask yourself, what two numbers are 20 units from 0? Negative 20 and 20 are both 20 units from 0. Let's look at some examples that are a little bit more complicated. Again, let's think of just a number that has an absolute value of 11. That means any number that has a distance of 0 that's 11 so there are two. It's 11 or it's negative 11. Now, to reveal what's, what's underneath, x minus 8 is 11. x minus 8 is negative 11 you can go ahead and solve the rest of the equation. Let's look at how the other one would be set up. Some number has a distance of 0 that's equal to 15. That number would be 15 or negative 15. So 2x minus 10 is equal to 15 or 2x minus 10 is equal to negative 15. I'm going to go ahead and solve the rest of this just so that you get an idea of what to do next. So, 
when two, the, taking the absolute value of 2x minus 10, and that being equal to 15, then x has to be 25 halves or negative 5 halves. Okay, now let's make this a little bit more complicated. Let's say that instead of Let's go back to the concept of your friend and you walking on a number line to represent the idea of the distance of a number that's greater than 11. Okay, so if we're going to have a distance of a number that's greater than 11, let's say that that would, you represent, this is you, remember, that's you. You represent all numbers that have an absolute value that's greater than than zero. That would be all numbers greater than 11. And your crazy haired friend represents all numbers that also have an absolute value that's greater than 11. That would be not including 11, but everything less than 11. So there your crazy haired friend is going away. So you and your crazy haired friend would actually have to be walking away from each other and using variables this would represent the inequality of x is less than negative 11 or x is greater than 11 and if we were to graph it moving your crazy haired friend in you you gotta get out of the way graphing's here it would look like this. Let's revisit the scenario of you and your friend walking to illustrate the concept of the absolute value of x less than or equal to 12. Again, think of all the numbers that are less than or equal to 12 because those would be all the numbers that would have, that would be closer to zero than 12. So that would be the numbers that have a distance to zero that's 12 or less. Now, in order to know where to, your crazy friend is gonna stop walking, let's think of you and your walking from negative 12 and so all the numbers from negative 12 up to 12 would be the numbers that would have an absolute value that is less than or equal to 12. So you and your crazy friend would just be walking back and forth between 12 and negative 12 all day long. Ooh, isn't this fun? Oh, let's go outside sometime. But we can't because we're bound in. And so if you want to look at the graph that would illustrate this, this is what it would look like. Close dot at negative 12, close dot at 12, and all the numbers in between. The inequality would be x greater than negative 12 and x less than 12. Now let's see how it would look like if you were solving an um, inequality. So again, I'm going to go back to my idea of um, covering up the x minus 3 there so we can ignore it for a time being. And we're going to <clears throat> see about having these rectangle guys represent our two inequalities. So think back to the crazy-haired friend and you walking. Okay. You're looking for all the numbers that are greater than 12. So that represents the numbers that are greater than 12 and less than negative 12. That means that x minus 3 has to be greater than 12, or x minus 3 
is less than negative 12. And here we have the inequality x minus 3 greater than 12 or x minus 3 less than negative 12. This is a compound or inequality and you could continue solving to get that x is greater than 15 or x is less than negative 9. Of course, you would also have to draw a graph for that. And so the graph would look something like this. Here you have 15, and here you have negative 9. 0 is somewhere there. And so this would be all the numbers greater than 15 and all the numbers less than 9, negative 9. Now let's see what it would look like without the black rectangle. So if we were just going to solve this 2x minus 3 is greater than 5, um, the absolute value of 2x minus 3 is greater than 5, we would start by writing two inequalities. So one inequality would be 2x minus 3 is greater than 5, or 2x minus 3 is less than 5. 5. Add 3. Divide by 2. And over here we would add 3. Oops, forgot that negative there. That's kind of important. Divide by 2. Rewrite the or. Rewrite our inequality so that it's easier to graph. And then graph. Now, there are three examples that I would like you to try on your own. So pause this, and on the next slide, you will see the answers. Now this example of the absolute value of 6x minus 3 equals 0, a little bit different than what we've seen. But think of it logically. What number has a distance to 0? That's 0. Only 0. And that is why only 6x uh, minus 3 is equal to 0 only. I said only a lot, but that's important. Only one solution, since only 0 is 0 units from 0. Pause. And pause.